when I quit my job to do this, it was to travel around the country with my rescue dogs to promote animal adoption and to show people the beautiful bond that you can have with your rescue pet. I wanted to show people what dogs were inside of the shelters, what kind of dogs were really out there. Instead of just what you see in the TV commercials with the sad music and the dog with the one eye, I wanted to show people the beautiful dogs of all different breeds, all different ages that were waiting to get adopted. In 2017, Lee Asher decided to quit his day job as a corporate trainer and pursue his passion. He then hit the road, traveling around in a converted school bus across the country with his pack of dogs. His mission to help hundreds of rescue dogs find their forever homes. Lee Asher is with us now to tell us more about it. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Good, good. Where do, where do, these, uh, where do these dogs come from generally? Just a variety of shelters from all over the country. We uh, we went to every single state in the United States except Hawaii. We went all the way to Alaska visiting dogs and rescuing dogs. And uh, these shelter dogs come from all over the country, even Canada. So how are you able to get them adopted whereas the shelters are not? Is it just that you're traveling around and setting up like a portable stand where people can come adopt the pets? So we're really lucky to have a very, very strong social media following. And that's where a lot of shelters kind of lack the ability to promote their animals. So I would have adoption events and meet and greets where people can come and meet my dogs and check out the bus and my way of life. And at the time as well, adopt the dog from the shelter. And I would always do my best to promote the dog and show the dog that has been at the shelter the longest. Huh. What tips do you have for people who are traveling with uh, their pets, especially if something serious comes up and you're on the road? Is there a way to communicate with uh, and get somehow treatment uh, over, over the smartphone or something? Yeah, it's a great question, and I get that the most, especially right now people are traveling. The biggest tip is make sure that wherever you go, you have cell phone service. I've been all over the country and the, the biggest hurdle was being so far away from a veterinarian and peace of mind equals peaceful dogs, peaceful vacation, peaceful road trip, whatever. You just wanna be every, you wanna have everything right at your phone in case of an emergency or even just a question. So finding a company, the one that I use is POP, P-A-W-P. There is 24-7 telehealth, so you could be anywhere in the country, anywhere, and if you have any issues with your pet, you call one of the pop vets, you'll get someone right away, and you could literally do a FaceTime or a phone call, and they can prescribe medications over the phone. There's even, hmm. let's say, for example, there it is an emergency, you can rush your dog to the vet, and there's a $3,000 fund. So for me, when I was on the road, I can't tell you how many times my dogs heard a paw or anything that happened when you, you know, I would travel with 11 dogs in the school bus. Things happen all the time. Instead of just freaking out and going right to the vet that sometimes was three hours away, I would go, go into pop, reach out to a vet, and just it would be so, so good for peace of mind to, so I know that I did everything I could. All right, I'm looking at this video, and I'm just amazed. Not only do you have like 11 or 15 dogs in a bus together getting along, they're all just following you on the beach. None of them are running away. My dog runs away. I open the gate, he runs. What are you doing? You know what's really funny about this conversation? I'm looking at this video, and that day, you know, that's why when it comes to social media, you never know what you're looking at. Yeah. That day, one of my dogs ate so much seaweed. Like, <laughs> he was complete, my, my dog, my chocolate lab bow, just ate so much seaweed, and I actually reached out to a pop vet that day. This is wow. so funny, because I was worried, and they were like, dude, don't worry about it. He's going to throw it all up or whatever, <laughs> you know? But it's like, as pet parents, we get so freaked out. And luckily, I have a big pack, and we all, to answer your question, we all stick together. As you see, they're all over here. Like, we do everything together, no matter what. Even when, in, if we do have to go to a vet, we're all going to the vet. So we're a family. We stick together no matter what. And, and none of them run, run away from you, huh? all around the country. No, it's a pretty good life, so I don't think they want to run away from it. it, it they, they have it pretty good. Yeah. I'm the one who tries to run away sometimes. <laughs> yeah, look at that. They get their own beanbag, right? peace and quiet. Well, it's fabulous. You know, you can follow Lee's journey. What is it, about 500 dogs you've gotten adopted already, Lee? Uh, no, we've actually gotten adopted well over 2,000 dogs wow. at our event so far. So, it's yeah, it's been amazing. Amazing. And, um, it, like, it, I, and I really do see so many people traveling right now. I, I really couldn't recommend this company enough, Pop. It's, uh, it's just all about peace of mind, and it, it has worked so well for me. Well, good luck to you. You can follow him on social media, the stuff you saw on the screen there. Thanks for being with us.
Thank you. Bye-bye.